What's going on everyone? So I wasn't going to do a debunk on this video, but this woman keeps going into TikTok lives and uh, saying that she made a 200 mile observation and then flat earthers are just eating it up without double checking anything. Now maybe she's mistaken and not purposely lying, but when people try to walk her through the details, she seems to get emotional, start calling people disingenuous, and refuses to even look at the information because it'll just shatter her flat earth belief. And because of that attitude, I'm going to break it down. So here's her video. She gave us the GPS coordinates of this, the location of this, um, but she does this, zooms in, pans around, freeze frames here, and this is the key point. We have this ridge here, so we're going to draw a line of sight. And then she looks around, and I am going to pause it in just a second, because what she does is she pans left and then pans right. So here we go. Uh, it's a little fuzzy, but we have this defined like ridge line here, then there's a defined ridge line here, and then another one way back here. Now she did this one a while ago, and then she posted this picture saying 200 miles, and in the Flat Earth Live she says 200 miles. Now she gave us the location, Tava, Tava Poots, Tava Poots, whatever the heck it is, ranch, in the sticks of Utah, a middle of nowhere Utah. Um, kind of nice because we can grab the, because she gave that, we can grab the coordinates, which I just clicked a random spot and grabbed them. Now on Google Earth, what I did was uh, mapped out her field of view left and right. So we know that she's looking through this range here, and we'll revisit this in a sec. Now we took the GPS coordinates and plugged them into Peak Finder, and this is pretty much her field of view. Her, it's, it's a little off, but that's about her field of view right there that she showed. Um, and she panned around and everything. And here's where it is interesting. If we look at her video, we can see the ridge here, and then she zooms in just over this ridge, and then pans around a little, and we can see what matches her video. So this is that first mountain line, this is that second mountain line, and this one way back here is the farthest line that she claimed is 200 miles. And when we click it, oh man, it's 67 miles away. Um, and what's fun about Peak Finder is we can get the GPS coordinates. So we'll grab those, plug it into Google Earth, but we're going to do this to save time. Look at the elevation profile. It is smashed here because I'm trying to make this thing full screen. So she's standing at 9,050 feet high, looking across all of this way below her at some mountains that are 63, 64, 100 feet high. Uh, so she's not even looking into Colorado. She's looking right into the border of Utah. But anyways, yes, this is this is what she's seeing. She's seeing 67 mile away mountains. Um, we can plug it into Walter Bislin's. I put 68 miles here and see that, oh man, she should see that mountain range. So yes, she's seeing 67, 68 miles. Um, she's telling people 200 miles. This is why you should do your own research and not just blindly believe what people on the internet keep telling you to believe. So here's the takeaway for everybody. Not just flat earthers or science deniers. Absolutely everyone. Verify things. This woman confidently repeats 200 mile observation to hundreds, probably tens of people really, uh, who are just accepting it without checking anything. But once you actually look at the maps, check the line of sight, check the elevation, the truth is simple. She's not seeing 200 miles. She's seeing 67, 68 miles. Uh, pretty much exactly what the globe predicts. Interesting that. 